a team like Mario and Ivysaur, you're not really going to have the same sort of speed that these two characters coming up are going to have. Mm -mm. I would say the last team was much more projectile-based. We'll see how this kind of mix up treats people. Or treats Kwan and Humble Dojo. We'll, we'll call them our protagonists for now since they uh, have been here the longest of these two teams. Mm -mm. Oh, is it, does it say we're playing Brawl? I actually don't even know how to change that. I'm so bad at like YouTube gaming stream options. Yep, I can't find it. And I stopped caring. Um, they are taking a sweet time picking the stage. Honestly, okay, Loki, shout out to Nintendo and bothering to make it so that everything is technically on like a different Z axis. I really appreciate that you can like tilt the camera on the menus for like really no reason and it just looks cooler. And it's also really good at annoying your uh, opponent. But anyway, get into the game one here. So we've chosen Battlefield, which is definitely gonna be a really good stage for both Ion and Blank. It's gonna be really hard for Humble, Quandiverex. I think this team is gonna be really fast and have a really strong punish game and edge guard game. That's definitely what those both Ion and Blank are kind of known for. They're definitely relatively aggressive players. Oh, Ion trying to go down there? Can it work, maybe? It's going to be really hard for Quan to get back. Yeah. Mm -mm. But we'll see. Technically, uh, Humble Quan Differs Rex got kind of beat up the first game they played with Loyal and Saber. So maybe, maybe we'll see a similar thing here. If we have to take a stop there, we'll do it. That's good. We're, we're on the map. And it's... Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like both... <laughs> like, I don't even necessarily think, like, Ion and Blank have great team synergy. I think they're just both really good at, like, what their one character can do. <laughs> and are just, like... They like target either Quan or Humble Dojo, whichever one's closer, and just go after them with a, just a shit ton of moves. And they're just so much faster that they can almost just chase after Quan and uh, Dojo. Mm -hmm. All right, but they're bringing it back slowly. This is technically an even set count or stock count. Oh god, that's so scary when Blake is right up against you in the blast zone. Zero Suit is so insane. Like, Zero Suit, Mewtwo, I don't know, maybe even sometimes Meta Knight. Like, those characters that can just follow you up into the blast zone and then just push you into it, and you're like, oh my god. Please. Mm -mm. Ooh. That, ooh, that was such a good. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, that was so perfect by Green Team. That was actually really important because now Blank only has one stop. So does Humble Blue Girl. Uh, that was really nice edge guard by that team. I mean, it was good that either Seth or uh, Ion or Blank was gonna lose stock there. I was surprised that Blank ended up being the one to lose it. I definitely thought it was gonna be Seth. <laughs> oh, where's Seth going? And he's dead. <laughs> yeah, he, he even like sits back and he's like, hm. well. All right, this is actually quite close. Oh, actually, Green Team is up now. We'll see how long Humble Dojo can hold on to his one last stock, though. Oh, this might be a big one. Oh no, he's able to make it back. He needs the help. Oh, Dojo actually makes it back with ease. I'm telling you, dude, that, that parasol. Oh, okay, where are we going? It's actually looking really good for Green Team. That's it for Seth. And now they have an extra stock to handle um, Blank. And Zero Suit's step is a lot like I was in the sense that the tether. If you grab a ledge and she tethers, she has to reel up, which means her, your partner has so much time to land a punish. All right. But this is pretty doable for Blink as well. I mean, if he can kill Quan, he could probably fuck up Banjo, which is one stock. But they clean it up, and they actually take game one, which TBH, I'm kind of surprised by. The beginning of that set was, or beginning of that game was not that close. They were down from the first half of it pretty consistently. I definitely think um, 
blink an eye on. If they can like work up their team synergy, they definitely had moments where I think like, I think one of them gimped the other one like halfway through the set. They both aren't necessarily the best at like playing around each other. If they can make that happen, I think it'll be the magic. We'll see how it goes. Mm -mm. Uh, they're, they're talking stuff happened. All right, I'm gonna find that VOD. Oh, here it is, okay. Boop. Mm -mm. Let's see here. Boop. All right, that's the first VOD. Mm -mm. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in here at the Super Arcade. We actually have a good amount of people here today. I thought it would be a little bit smaller just because when Jason and I did our rounds of asking if people were gonna be able to come through, a lot of people had like weird family stuff going on, or um, if they're in the quarter system, they're having finals right now. But we have so much of our PR out here today, which is going to be really cool. And a good, we've been having tons of new people show up for Busters and Bandits, which is definitely one of my favorite parts of the event, is just meeting new people. They're all really excited just to come play, like meet people, learn about the game. Um, most of the time, they're pretty... Uh, I don't know what the right word for it is. I would say uninterested in things like amateur bracket and that kind of stuff. But if you kind of like, not like force them into amateur bracket, but you know, like you know, like inform them, tell them like how, how it's just like for fun. A lot, so a lot of people just kind of freak out at the idea of having to like I don't know, be forced into competition over and over again and like not do well. Like, once you go 0-2 for the first time, like, you think you're gonna be the person who doesn't go 0-2, and, and it'll be like, hey, maybe I'll take at least one game, you know, like one set, and then maybe that doesn't happen, and it's kinda like, mm. But, Amateur Bracket ends up being a really good place for that. Cause even if you don't win there, those kind of sets are just so much closer, usually, because you're a lot more even in skill. Which leads, I think, to better spears. Anyway, we are in doubles, and I'm trying to find my bots. <clears throat> and okay. Let me check how this set is going. Oh no. Okay. Green team. That's exactly really even. That would be nuts if they two owed Blank and I are. Surprisingly, uh, Blink has the least amount of stocks right now. I didn't expect that. I'm not. There probably must have been some shenanigans that went down that I didn't see. Mm -mm. Not as surprising as that. Humble Dojo has been so good as like a stock tank. Just about all of these games. I mean, Peach is definitely built for that. Her ability to like float. She's like definitely. I don't want to say heavier, but definitely has really good survivability. And like when she's recovering, it's like up in that corner and like nobody can even reach her and they just like kind of let it go and go after Quan. Which I imagine was, is why he often has a lower stock count of the two. Ooh, not sweet spotted. That's gonna definitely take it from Dojo. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. Oh. Dang. Let's see if Seth can carry his last stock. No? And he can. So yeah, this is actually completely even, just like the last game. This time it looks like, yeah, Kwan is gonna be the first one to lose it. And I really have my doubts that <laughs> Dojo, a character like Peach, it's like, I don't know, what do you do, down smash and pray that <laughs> none of them approach? Mm -mm. But you can kind of see there with that like last moment where they were both going up to try to get Dojo that both Seth and Blank are really hungry to go after the opponent all the time. And neither of them really like sitting back <laughs> and like just letting the other one play. <laughs> but I imagine that's what they're talking about right now. Trying to like make some sort of rhythm about who to go after. I mean, that game definitely went a lot better than, not necessarily a lot better. It was pretty, much the same as the first game. But this time, Ion and Blink really clutched it out. Sorry, I'm trying to 
Gotta make some magic happen here with these thumbnails. Boom. So I can not fall behind on these VODs. Last Let's see. Smash. Let's command it's, it's under layouts. Thumbs. There we go. Now I can do it way faster. <coughs> this one is not <coughs> Saber and Oil versus Quandivorous and Humble Dojo. Nice. And that's that. Dang, they're taking their sweet time picking a perfect stage. Band wise, it looks like they took out. Oh, they went. They went band one. They went band fountain. Which makes sense. We want Peach to go there. Mm -mm. And that was also a good choice. We saw that in the last set that they had a good, like, uh, Quan and Humble Dojo did really well on Dreamland. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And I'm kind of surprised by this choice. They seem like the kind of team that would want more space than smaller blast zones, but maybe it's the callouts. They think that they can get those kills. But I just I feel like Blink is really gonna like this stage. I mean, the walls are gonna help Zero Suit recover. The smaller blast zones are gonna mean that it's easier for her and Sonic to both fall you to the blast zone. Mm -mm. But we'll see. Maybe Green Team knows more than I do. It is Green Hill Zone. Maybe that was the idea. Mm -mm. Oh, well, they do take the first stock off Ion. The stage is so much smaller. I mean, it's going to be... Uh, more often, we're going to see those clusterfucks where people are all just stuck in one, one part of the stage. Looking good for Kwan. He's actually the one holding on to this last stock here. Putting a ton of pressure on Ion. That actually could have been a really cool... I don't even know. It's not, I don't think that even counts as like an edge guard, but Kwan like doing his little twister to get down there. I like that. It didn't work, but it was cute. Oh! A blink? Oh my god. If blink had uh, done the stairway and gotten him all the way up to the top, it would have been nasty. A lot of misfire on that one. And Quan's struggling to get back to stage, but David's actually been holding on to his third stock really well. Just hasn't taken like any damage. The team's actually this this set has just been so even. I mean I really have to give like a a shout out to humble humble Quandiferous Rex. Even though they don't necessarily have as like high of ranked PR members, I feel like they're a really good doubles team. I definitely got that synergy. Because mm -mm. you can see that, for the most part, they like respect each other's space. And obviously, since they play level so much, they have a better sense of what their partner is like, trying to do. Mm -mm. I feel like that's like an underappreciated part of double strategy. Is like, not only understanding like your opponent or your uh, partner's character, and like what they're best at doing and what they're gonna be trying to be doing, but also, like, specifically how your partner likes to play and, like, what they do. I imagine Kwan and Dojo play often enough that they have a good idea of what moves they like to use. <clears throat> but yeah, with Seth on his last stock, this actually could be the loss for... For Ion and Blank. I actually didn't even update their name. Jesus. This is why you don't commentate and screw it. You get too stuck on one or the other. Yeah, Quan is up there with that 165. That's it. What? Wow. That would have been a really key moment because. Oh, okay, he, he did take it. Alright, we'll see. Can, that was also another key moment, and I'm surprised Seth remained on the ledge because. Obviously, Quan died right there, and that means that he has like a good amount of time before he can even like actively play anymore. Also, shout out to that spring. But yeah, by choosing to stay on the uh, edge, I am played it safe, which actually ended up working out. But you can also kind of go the opposite route, where 
while their opponent is like dead and like in the process of coming back, you can both double team whoever's left on the stage and like just get even more damage. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Sorry, I'm like typing messages to people. We plan to use Friday morning to set up the venue. All right. <laughs> 